Hey, what's going on guys? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. In this video, I'm working on a 2005 Ford F-150. Customer's complaint, excessive gas smell, and excessive smoke coming out of the exhaust. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what can cause that. Check this out. This customer said out of nowhere, white smoke started coming from the exhaust pipe, he could smell raw gas, and the truck developed a very small misfire. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose the problem and fix it yourself. If this is your first time to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you're a motorhead like me, and you love working on your own cars, and you like these kind of videos, then consider subscribing, and don't forget to hit that like button. The first thing I did was get a Noid light, and I checked all the injectors to make sure they were getting a good signal. Then I took a pair of stethoscopes, and I listened to each injector to make sure they were all clicking off and on with the same tone pitch. Once I confirmed that all the injectors were firing correctly, I went ahead and removed the fuel rail. You use this tool right here to remove the feed line and then you remove the four 8mm bolts that hold the rail on. I put links in the description below to all the parts and the tools that were used in this video. This system takes a fuel pressure temperature sensor that regulates the fuel pressure. It takes two different readings. The first one is temperature and the second one is intake manifold pressure. The sensor uses that manifold vacuum as a reference. It measures the difference between a fuel rail and the intake manifold. That sends a signal to the PCM which controls the speed of the fuel pump. In order to make the system work correctly, everything needs to be working together. In this case, there was a bad fuel injector. Even though I listened to it with that scope and I could hear it working correctly, there are four holes in the bottom of this injector. Two were holding and two weren't. When I apply pressure to this feed line, look what happens to this one injector. Two of the ports are holding and two weren't. So what that was doing was, the whole time the vehicle was running, there was two holes on that one fuel injector that were constantly dumping fuel into that one cylinder, causing the excessive amount of smoke to come out of the exhaust and that random misfire. All right, once we found the cause of the problem, went ahead and ordered fuel injectors. I use a BWD fuel injector. You know, you already had that fuel rail out. Go ahead and put all eight in there. I know you don't want to spend the extra money. No one really does. But in the long run, it's definitely going to save you money. All right, guys, here's a tip for you. When you're installing your new injectors, make sure you use a little bit of grease around the O-rings going into the rail. And then again, use a grease around the O-rings going into the intake. It'll help it go together a lot easier. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Catch you later. 